What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to a brand new video. This is WebDev Journey and today we're going to be talking about uploading a file. All right. Or images in this case. Now, if I'm just going to get straight right into it because there's a lot that we have to do and this might be a long, a, a long video. But anyways, if you did not know, there's actually three ways to actually uh, send data from a form. Now, the first way is the default way, which we all know, or if you did not know what it's called, then I'm going to have it on the screen. Application slash forward slash X www form URL encoded, meaning this is a, this is a default way how we send data. The thing about that is that it, it just doesn't really apply to images or files. Now, if you want to send files or images, you do need to have another attribute in our, I can show you right now, users registration in our forum for the ink type, which is, this is called encoded type. And that is multi-part forward slash forum data. You need to have this if you want to actually send files or images. Now, the way that this sends it, it actually sends it as binary. It sends all this in a binary to the back end. So we need a middleware and an, and an actual NPN module that will help us parse that uh, binary data that is getting sent back to us. And for that, we're going to be using Molter. I will have those down below in the description. All right. And I already have it downloaded, but let's just do it again. I'm going to clear this side clear. NPM I Molter. All right. So we're going to install it, but I'm going, I'm going to be creating a middleware for that. So what I'm going to do is. And guys, I already did a lot of this for us because, like I said, it's a lot of things that we have to do. Uploading an image is not easy. So let's uh, let's um, inside of routes right here. We actually created another file called middlewares.js. Here we're gonna actually get Molter, Molter, require Molter, and what this is is it's a, it's a middleware, right? So once you upload an image, it we could actually set set specifications on how or what the image should be. Should it be a JPEG only or the limit of the image, whatever you want. Okay. What I want is I want that image to actually have a limit, a file size limit of four megabytes. Okay. That's all I want. That's big enough to actually have some quality into it. We don't need you need that big of a picture. And once it, that's done, once it actually reads it from there, uh, it'll actually attach it to the rec, uh, what's it called, object. So we can actually see that in play. If I just do, let me go back over here. We do need to include that middleware. So const middleware equals require middlewares. And then down in our registration right here, once we register, this is where we're going to add our avatar in the res registration process, the post anyways. I'm a, I want to add that middleware. So what I'm going to say is middlewares dot upload dot single because we only want to upload a single file and we need to give it give it the name of the input avatar. Now let's go back to so, so you can see what I'm talking about. So for the input, our name was avatar. So that's why I put over there. If you put dog here, you would put dog right here. All right, let's control save this and I'm going to actually put a breakpoint on line 30 right there. Uh, why is this a breakpoint right there? Okay, it's just line 30 so that way we can see what's going on. So let's actually launch this right now. Okay, it's launching. Let me actually get over here. Go to localhost 3000. Uh, I need to fix that. Ah, sorry about that, guys. I was messing around with it. Anyway, let's register. Okay. Right here, I'm going to do um, ASD, and then my email is going to be ASD, and then my password. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to choose a file. First of all, I'm going to choose a big file. As you can see, this file is 12 megabytes. It's pretty big. So if I choose this file, we should get an error saying that, hey, uh, that's too big of a file, which it is. File too large. Okay. Fair enough. Let me actually choose another one, and I'm going to choose a, a thumbnail. Uh, this is 1.18 megabytes, which is within our range. So I'm going to click on that, open up and submit. 
it's hanging because we're in debug mode so let's go over here and let's actually look right here in our variables section if you click on local if you look, click on rec you're gonna see that we still get our body which is great we get our email password and username which is awesome but if you keep on scrolling down you're gonna see that we get a file and inside that file we have a buffer with binary data uh, representing our image which is awesome that's what we wanted we wanted this thing all right cool now that we have that let me stop this go back to terminal we have that buffer you saw that right but now that we have that we need some way of reading it and saving it into our local machine or database or wherever you want right so for that we're gonna use a module called sharp so let's actually install that npm i sharp all right now for that i actually created another service because for every uh, user we are going to need to create a new instance of that image or the service that we're going to be creating now i called it inside of services create another file called avatar service like i said i did a lot of this for you because it'll speed up the process and here we're going to actually need a couple of things it's, it's, it's a few things okay we're going to need sharp uuid to create our file name unless you want to do it yourself for every single time you create a function for that uh util because we want to make fs unlink fs unlink basically unlinks it deletes a file for within your system basically uh but it doesn't return a promise so we're going to use util to just promise by that we need path and fs obviously okay so i did a class avatar service we're going to create a constructor that takes in the directory what where do we want to save it at okay and we're going to specify every time wherever we use it this class we're going to specify the directory where we want to save it at now the first thing don't ignore this one for right now first things that we want to do is just create some helper functions okay we want to do a delete function where it just deletes the file name so that way we don't have it no more we want to create a file name which i just used the uuid before and i just attached a dot png that's it it's going to return a random string dot png it's just a file name and then i did another one called file path where we had to do that file dot reserve reserve resolve and then the whole path directory at where do we want to save it at okay all right now let's go to our store so i grabbed the file name file path with the little helpers that we have down here what i want to do is await sharp remember sharp is the one that's going to like debuffer i guess you know actually grab the image right so we're going to pass in the image from our rec object and i want to resize it so you can pass in whatever image you want it could be a pretty huge image you could get huge images with four megabytes right so i want to resize it to 300 pixels by 300. i i added some i added some extra options fit sharp dot fit inside without enlargement and true because we all know that if you enlarge a uh, a picture you lose some quality so i just don't want to do that and i did two files so that way we could save it in the file path that we just grabbed okay <clears throat> now what i'm gonna return is the file name it's very important that you return the file name because we're going to be using this file name okay the file name is literally whatever we created down here where is it at? right here that random string dot png and another function that we did was a thumbnail function you know for our little avatar i guess for our thumbnails so what i did here was we're going to return sharp and then pass in the file name or wherever the file is right because they already gave us out the image we already have the image and it's a, it's in a file somewhere right so we give it the absolute path to the image and then we just want to resize it to 50 by 50 and then we're not going to save it like we saved it up here to file we're going to just create it into a binary so we're going to just say to buffer and we're going to just store it in memory that's it all right <clears throat> that's our thumbnails all right now that we have all this set up we could actually go back into app.js where is that right here and use it so up above uh grab the avatar service down below create a new instance of avatar service and pass in the directory file now the directory file we already have that in config so if you go to config 
index you can see that we already have a path name to that you can store it wherever you want it does not matter I just had it right here so that's why I did config where is it at where's our app config.data.avatars all right ooh and I named it avatars okay so now we need to pass this service down to our route so that way our routes have it and right there we just passed it to our routes all right now that I have that uh, where are we in our index for our routes our index.js you're gonna see that we do get params and we're passing those parameters inside of every route that we have where we're going to be using that um, that service the avatar service is inside users route so let's go inside users route so up above grab it get params grab it avatars params right I grabbed it and then down below before we actually do anything what I want to do is inside middlewares we're gonna actually create another middleware that will store the file name at least into the rec object okay so let me D comment this so we're gonna create another middleware okay on top of the middleware that we already created for the upload okay so this middleware handle avatar is going to literally just save that file name whatever file name that we just created save it into the rec dot file uh, object so right here I'm saying that hey oh and by the way we're passing in the class right avatars class the class service avatar services we're passing that in as an argument so that way we could use it so anyways if there is no rec dot file as you saw when you do create a file and it actually does get uh, passed by our form you do have a rec dot file so if you don't have it that means that you never created an image so we're going to just return next okay and I did, I did another check because I only want to mess around with PNGs and JPEGs. Uh, if you want to mess around with other images, go for it. I just don't want to do that. So what I just did say is, hey, if there's a rec.file.mime type and if it does not equal a PNG or a JPEG, uh, basically just return any error saying file format is not supported because I don't want to mess with anything else. Okay. Now, if everything goes good, what I want to do is create a property inside a file named stored file name and we're just going to grab that file name by calling avatars dot store and then passing in the rec dot file dot buffer okay remember file dot buffer is the actual bytes or the binary for our image and we're just passing it into the store now let's check it just in case you did forget what it is our store what it does is just saves it it resizes it and then saves it to a file path and then returns a file name. So now this stored file name is going to have a file name. Control save this. Now we want to use this middleware inside of down below. Where is it? Right here. So I'm actually going to make this into a new line and then make this into a new line as well. Ooh. So middlewares, we're going to have to call handle avatar, and we do need to pass in our avatars class or instance of a class. Where is it at? Where is it at? Oh, right here. And that's basically it. All right. So what happens here is that we uploaded that image. Now we have that rec.file. And then right here, we're just checking. Remember, we're just checking if there's a... Uh, rec file the type is png jpeg if there is and great to return next with the file name okay that's basically it all right <clears throat> now down here well before we do anything inside of models oops models we do need to uh put in that little avatar type equal string because it is going to be a string but we never had this so just put that in there it's pretty simple avatar and type, type string or name it whatever you want but i named it avatar so right here this is a new line if we have a rec.file and we have a rec.file.stored file name then what we want to do is actually have the user dot avatar equal that file name okay so rec.file.stored file name now you might be wondering why don't we why why wouldn't we put this up here right here 
the reason why is because remember in our forum or sorry yeah well yeah in our forum you, you could log in without a, a avatar you could just log in with a username email and a password now if you don't have that i mean if you wanted to add a avatar then great you could have an avatar but that's not necessary that's why we left it out from right here and we're just checking if they do if they do great save it into the avatar if they don't just ignore it don't don't save nothing to the avatar and then what i want to do is actually expand on the cache block as well now why the cache block why do we need to do anything in the cache block well let's say that the saver the the user does not save well we still have the rec.file that store file name because that's that that happened during the middleware so even if you get an error, we still have this file name. Now, what I want to say is that, A, if there was an error saving the, the user, and if there was a rec.file and a recfile.store name, I want to delete that file name, meaning that I want to delete that image that they uploaded. So that way they would have to do it again. And we don't have duplicates of those images in our database, right? So if rec.file and recfile.store file name, what we want to do is say await avatars.delete passing in the file name okay and uh, in our services we already created a little thing that would delete it which will unleak it okay now we could actually give this a try npm run dev okay let's go to localhost 3000 let's register i'm gonna register as i don't know a is dfg okay dfg at oops gmail.com password dfg 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 and then choose file i'm gonna choose my little thumbnail right here open up submit awesome we actually registered cool 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 now just log in dfg at gmail.com dfg 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 log in and there we go you might notice something ignore these these are these were working actually need to fix them you might notice that we have this little icon right here where our thumbnail should be okay uh but we don't also if we actually click on it and go to my account you're gonna see that our image right here is not working as well and that's because we don't have those routes set up if i inspect this right now they're expecting something that that's in slash user slash avatar slash that random dot png file that we created now there are several ways you could do this you could pass it into the template you could do uh save it into uh the sessions of theirs they could do a lot of ways but i'm gonna do it simple i'm gonna i'm gonna do it simple for 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 all, all of us okay what i'm gonna do is actually create a router dot git so let's go over here and down here i already have them so for the first one, we're gonna do a router.git slash avatar. Remember this index is actually attached to user, so it's actually slash user slash avatar, and then the file name, the file name that's being passed in. As you saw, as you saw, we are passing in right there a file name. So that's in the params, right? So what I do is say res.type png, so that way it could express, could set up the headers for png. And then we want to return res.send file avatars.file path uh, rec params file name. File path, remember, is going to, let's go back, it's going to give you the whole path, the absolute path to that file name, wherever that file name is at, which is our image. So wherever that image is at, it's going to give you the absolute path to that image, which is pretty cool. So we're sending that now. Now we already control save that. Let's go back over here. Let's refresh the page and we should see our little thumbnail show up. Now this one's different. The reason why is because this one actually goes to slash, uh, sorry, not there. Right here. Slash users slash avatar TN. TN for thumbnail. I'm not that creative guy, so <laughs> ignore me. All right. Uh, so we need to create another git path or route for that. So let's go back. I already did that. And this time we actually want a thumbnail. We don't want the whole 300 by 300. That's why we created the service 
uh, dot thumbnail to actually resize it and we're actually to buffer so that way it's in it's in the uh, memory so right here same thing res dot type PNG we actually have to get that thumbnail so we're gonna do a wait avatars dot thumbnail and then send in the file name and then what we're going to do is return res dot end because we want to end the cycle right here or response cycle passing in the thumbnail and then say that hey it's binary by the way it's binary okay so that way express knows how to deal with it and actually sends it the actual image in memory okay so once we save this control save let's go back to our refresh the page and bada beam bada boom there it is right there awesome 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 all right and that's basically it guys that's that's it that's it that's it for this video so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new how to do images and files uh, same thing for files if you want to upload a file it'll be sent as binary and we already have that set up right but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you had a great time watching my videos. I hope it didn't take that long. <laughs> anyways, guys, thank you for spending your time watching my videos. It really does. Uh, I really do appreciate that, and it helps me out tremendously. So thank you so much. If you liked the video, please like, hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about deploying this all right yeah we're actually going to be deploying it all right so thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye